Many of the colors we use in the apartment are traditional civilian colors. These can be easily found on the streets around here, so a lot of inspiration for the apartment came from the cityscape itself. It used to be a very dark space before, like very limited by walls and it was kind of claustrophobic somehow, and now it feels like very airy and very bright and it gives beautiful energy. The apartment is located in Triana, a historic district in Seville, Spain. Triana is known for being the place where flamenco originated from. Because of its traditional local vibe, with many small streets and the Guadalquivir River, the real estate in this area of Seville is in very high demand. My name is Antonio Mora. And my name is Eduardo Tazón. We are architects and co-founders of Studio Noyu, based in Madrid and Seville in Spain. Seriously save with 25% off our book and essential guide bundle this slow November. Our beautiful book will inspire you with detailed floor plans and gorgeous photography. And our new essential guide to your living room will teach you how to create the never too small look in your own home. Click on the view products button on the bottom left of your screen or on the link in the description and use the code slow November at checkout. We like to work with color as an architectural element. Each area is distinguished by its own zigzag colorful alcove. They're made from readily available and low-cost aluminum roof ridges known as cumbreras in Spanish. The effect of the vibrant colors imparts a sense of greater spaciousness. My favorite part of the apartment is the theatricality of the blue curtain. It just makes it much more fun. So you're constantly changing the appearance of the apartment with a very kind of easy gesture. The client is a young dentist who is very organized and lives here with her pet rabbit Lennon. Casa Triana is located in a residential complex built in the 60s. Our client inherited this apartment from her grandparents after they passed away. The apartment originally had three small bedrooms along a narrow L-shaped corridor. There was a bathroom, a separate kitchen, and a living room, and a narrow balcony that spans the entire length of the apartment. For the renovation, we remove almost all of the interior walls in the apartment. This allows us to increase the size of the bedroom and add a walk-in closet. The bathroom was kept in its original place, but a second entrance was added so that it can be accessed from the bedroom. The living, dining and kitchen is now one large open plan with the main functions along the walls. The living room can be closed off using curtains to give some privacy. It can also be used as a guest room. As you enter the apartment, the first thing you see are the blue curtains that hides the living room. The front door is the original door, and we could not change the outside appearance due to the building rules. But we were able to add cladding to the inside to blend it in with the rest of the entrance. At the entrance, there is a small open closet where the client can store her bags, coats, and shoes. We added a mirror to reflect the colors in the space. The living room is behind a blue floor-to-ceiling curtain. It shares the same open space as the kitchen and dining room. We chose the furniture in the living room together with the client. We wanted the color tone of the furniture to be neutral. A mirror-side table reflects the surrounding colors and creates a bit of an illusion. The only non-neutral item in the living room is the custom-made plinth in the alcove. It was designed to blend into the curtains. To zone the living room area, we designed a custom-made carpet with grey to blue gradient. This carpet, together with the folding curtain, creates a visual sensation of a defined space. One corner of the carpet has a rounded edge to match the curved rail of the curtains. The marble floor tiles are also original. 
It was actually added by her grandparents and she wanted to keep it to remind her of them. We added a metallic white ceiling light which has a ripple effect to remind us of the waves of the curtains. Just outside the living room, there is a custom-made zigzag shelving system that is not visible from the entrance to keep the area from looking cluttered. We maximized storage by adding cabinets throughout the wall along the window. The kitchen was relocated to a more hidden area, away from the entrance of the apartment. We pushed the baseboard back to give the kitchen some depth and make it appear like it's floating off the ground, making the kitchen feel lighter. The kitchen countertop is made from black granite to match with the black sink and appliances. There are two pantries on either side of the kitchen. One hides the fridge and all the small appliances and the other hides the laundry room with a washer dryer. This allows us to have a kitchen that is always tidy and visually clean. The dining area is between the living room and the kitchen. We custom designed a yellow dining table with a slight curve on one end to mimic the same curve of the carpet and curtains in the living room. When the table is not in use, it can be pushed into the yellow niche to become a desk and create a study area. There is a hanging light in the niche to illuminate this space. When the dining table is moved to the center of the room, the light can also be rotated to illuminate the space. The dining room chairs are by Arne Jacobsen for Fritz Hansen and we chose black to add contrast to the yellow niche. Beside the yellow niche, we added a large floor-to-ceiling closet with lots of room for clothes and other household items. We also added a smaller closed storage under the windows. For the private areas of the apartment, such as the bedroom and bathroom, we chose to use neutral tones, such as charcoal and pale white. Instead of a door, the walk-in closet can be hidden using curtains. This helps to tie it in with the alcoves in the rest of the apartment. This vibrant yellow color conveys energy and liveliness in the mornings and was actually chosen by the client. It is a very generous space and provides hangers and shelving for clothes and personal items. We custom made an upholster headboard with integrated reading lamps and beside tables. The sides of the headboard angles in towards the bed to make you feel cozy. The angle also provides a bit of a division to the bathroom entrance. For the bathroom, a charcoal grey tone was chosen for the sink area. To continue the zigzag theme of the apartment, we found a dark triangular ceramic tile for the area around the sink of the bathroom. Due to the zigzag nature of the tiles, the mirror looks like it's floating in midair. The rest of the bathroom is white. The client preferred to have a more functional and spacious bathroom, so we removed the bathtub and replaced it with a large shower. This freed up space to add a second entrance from the bedroom. We added built-in storage opposite the sink and a niche behind the sliding door with just enough space to hang bath towels. The blue curtain creates a pop-up guest bedroom whenever there is someone staying over, so this allows for flexibility to use the living room also as a separate bedroom. There's a very strong sense of community in the city center of Seville, which is something that you lose when you're going towards the suburbs. Of course, it's important to think of small spaces and the challenge of designing them in terms of optimization and getting the most out of every inch of the apartment. But the challenge for designing small apartments is to add a lot of character and a lot of personality. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at never too small 
www.ebay.com/submissions.